Hello, and we're back again. We're gonna be making one of my favorite desserts, sopapillas. Soon to be your favorite dessert too. Let's go. All right, so we're going to start off with the large metal mixing bowl. To that, we're going to add three cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. To that, we're going to add three tablespoons of lard. Now, if you don't wanna use lard, you can use vegetable shortening. That'll work just fine. Get in there with your hands and we're going to combine the flour and lard until it's fully incorporated. This process should take about three minutes. We'll also add our baking powder. We're gonna do two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of sea salt. And just mix that all together. All right, now you can tell when your flour and fat and everything's fully incorporated when you can grab a nice handful of it and it holds its shape. At this point, we're going to add one cup of warm water to the mix. And we're, we're just gonna use our hands again. Once it's all combined, we're just going to take it out of the bowl and transfer it onto a clean surface. And we're going to just work the dough this process might take another three to four minutes. All right, so I've been kneading this for about four minutes. It should look something like this. It should be smooth to the touch. And then at this point, we're gonna get our bowl again, and we're just gonna break this off into balls. Try and get them double or triple the size of a golf ball. All right, we ended up with about five at this point, we're gonna cover them with ceram wrap, and we're just going to let this sit at room temperature. All right, so this has been sitting for about 20 minutes. Now, the next thing we're going to do is just get a clean surface, lightly flour it, place our dough ball in the center, and we're just going to roll, roll this out into a big circle. Roll it about an eighth of an inch thick. All right, at this point, we're gonna get a pizza cutter. And we're just going to cut it into fourths. And then once they're cut up, you can just kind of move them over to the side and roll out the other ones. We're gonna roll all these out and cut them before we start frying them. Now these are all gonna be a little different sizes and that's fine. So get yourself a thermometer. We want it around the 350 to 365 degree mark. That's perfect. All right, now that's hot, get yourself some tongs and also get yourself a ladle. I'm just going to slide these in, get some of that lard and just drizzle it right on top. And that's gonna help them poof up. Oh, it looks beautiful. Nice and poofy. The ladle part's very important. Otherwise, they might not puff up. And the puffiness is what makes sopapillas sopapillas. So, now these take about one and a half to two minutes on each side. What we're going for is a nice golden brown. Shake off any residual lard. All right, so that was super easy. Look how many sopa peas we got. That recipe gave us about 20. And we're just gonna throw them right here on a plate. Not all of them. Just a few. And we're gonna coat these with some powdered sugar. Now, sopapillas are either a delicious dessert or you can have them savory as well. They actually go really well with pinto beans and New Mexican red chili, which I have a recipe for a New Mexican red chili sauce. I'll put that in a link somewhere in this video. All right, so now that those are all dusted with powdered sugar, we'll grab this nice fluffy one. Put some butter on it. And some honey. Just like that. And let's dig in.
It's so delicious. It's light. It's tender. It's flaky. It's everything you could ever want and more. Yeah, that's delicious. Mm. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Let's go.